Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I really felt the need to make this video because um, there seems there seems to be this great confusion and and M Muslim evangelicals bring this up against Christians and kind of confuse them. So they bring up the argument that Christianity is not true because Christians believe in three different gods. And this is not the first time I've heard a Muslim use this argument. I saw a video on YouTube how a, um, a Muslim preacher convinced a, a Christian how uh, the Trinity is illogical and he convinced them that um, Christians believe in three different gods. So I'm going to make a very simple comparison to clear things up. So we Christians believe in God, we're one God, and we believe that He exists as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. But the Son is not the Father, the Father is not the Son, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father, the Holy Spirit is not the Son. So just bear with, bear with me on this one. So think about the U.S. federal government. We only have one federal government in the United States. And this federal government exists at, as the executive branch, which is the president. It exists as the leg legislative branch, which is made up of the House and the Senate. And it exists as the judic judicial branch, which is, which is made up by the Supreme Court. So um, think of the Trinity in this case. Um, we have one federal government, and this federal government exists as the executive branch, judicial branch. And the legislative branch right so you wouldn't say we have three different US federal governments you would say we have one so why why, why would you say we have Christians believe in three different gods we don't we believe in one God and we believe that he exists as the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit um, this was just a quick video I wanted to make thanks for listening also in the description box I'm, I have a salvation prayer so if you still have not been saved please say that prayer because we are living in the end of times and also in the description box, I have a message. Um, I have a, a message that I've been um, posting around my city, um, basically spreading the word. It's about the end of times and the up upcoming events of the tribulation. Please, please spread that message, even if that message is going to save one soul from going through the tribulation and is going to save one soul from going to hell. It's going to be worth your time and God will truly reward you for it. Thanks for listening. God bless you and all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.